Hello boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am your host and guide, Chris13, and as promised in the last episode, I am going to be spending this one getting some new dances for Mog. Now, I'm going to be going through a little loop here, right, a little path that I'm going to start here on the Velt, that's going to take us through a path that's not going to get every single dance, but it's going it's the only way to get a certain water one. Now, well, let's pick up our first one, shall we? All right. Here we are. We're on the plains, and we're going to get a dance here. All we have to do is beat the battle. However, we have to beat the battle without using a dance of a different terrain. Because if you do that, Mog will be distracted from his other dance to learn the dance of this land. So, no dancing, just beating enemies. And we shall learn it. Hey, there we go. Dance learned. We are one dance down. Now, before we go on, let's uh, cure ourselves up, because... That wyvern really hurt us. My gosh. Oh, also, off screen, before I started this episode, I went down to the uh, southern continent, the Imperial one, and I visited a few towns, picked up some weapons and armor for our team here, due to the fact that I really didn't do that properly the last time we were there, and uh, I have yet to pick anything up for Mog, and certain shitty characters, <coughs> Cyan, cough. Um, that I never use really have been lacking in the uh, armor department. Now you can see I brought Cyan and Setzer, who normally I wouldn't bring in my party, but I'll explain why I brought them in a bit. First, we are here in the water. And you guessed it, we came here to specifically pick up our water dance. Now remember, we can't use a dance of any other elemental or terrain, so we're just going to have to beat this first battle without dancing, and uh, we shall learn our water dance. Now, the reason I'm taking this route, this circle, it's not really a small one. This is going to be a full episode just to get all the way around, right, from where we left our ship, taking this trench, and to get all the way back to it is because this is the only place in the damn game where you can learn the water dance. Here, in the trench, and I think the Leith River gives it to you as well, but eventually, these two areas will become unavailable to us, and when that happens, we will have lost our opportunity to learn the dance. And as far as I'm concerned, that sucks. And if he... Oh my god, he's gonna do it. Badger, yes. You see the little raccoon there, which doesn't really look like a badger? Awesome healing. Yes. That is why this is one of the dances I want to learn. It's pretty good. Now, you don't have to learn every dance, just like you don't have to learn every magic. But, seeing as how it's not like it's something that's really hard to do, it just takes a little while to make this trip, I'd suggest doing it, but I also really like Mog as a character, because he's got amazing evade, and he's... he's not the greatest, but he's just so darn cute. Now, I'm gonna use the Wind Rhapsody here, and you will see if it... Okay, no, you see how he fell on his face? If you try to use a dance for terrain you're not currently in, there is a large chance the dance will fail, as you just saw, where Mog fell on his face. 
Now this is not a 100% chance, but I find it happens quite often. If I were to use the water dance here though, I pretty much I'm pretty certain that it's a 100% chance of succeeding. But you see these other ones. Let's see what Mog does. No, see once again he's going to fail at it. Now, as I said, this isn't like a 100% chance of him failing. And should he succeed, you don't have to worry about trying to get him to complete it every single, like, round when he goes to do another action. Um, once he has succeeded at his dance and he has started in his rage, he's good, he's set, he's ready to go. It's not gonna fail, like, a few moves in. You, you don't have to worry about that. But, uh, you see, we've only got a few more to go. There aren't really that many. Um, and there are two more that we can pick up along this loop that we're doing. The other three we will have to go back and get later. Yeah, as I said, this isn't a way to get all of them. This loop is just allowing us to get the water one because there is no other way to get it. And just as we did when we ended Sabin's scenario, we've taken the trench to Nakia, and we've taken the ship from there to South Figaro. However, I don't know how Sabin got through South Figaro when he got here, because there were Imperial soldiers here, and even Locke had to sneak around. But, unless he hid in the chest, just like we did here. But you cannot actually enter the city. Right? Because of the guards. However, being just outside the city, there's this convenient little forest where we can pick up another dance from Mog. Yay! More dances! And, seeing as how we're now in the middle of nowhere, sort of, not really the middle of nowhere, but we are uh, far ways away from our airship, and we really can't get anywhere without it. Because, well, we kind of need it to get from island to island, right? Because there's no ships that travel to the southern continent, other than our airship. So, now we've got to head back to it. Conveniently, through this mountain. Mount Colts here, where we can pick up the last of the dances we will be able to acquire in this loop. Right, we've already got the cave one, so the areas like this, where we're inside, that was that's the same as being inside a cave in like a dungeon. Um, and here, up on the mountain sides, is its own type of dance. And uh let me see something here. Okay, viewers, you're going to want to be careful using the trident as a weapon because it's water elemental, apparently. I did not know this. Does not seem like a weapon that would be. Actually, come to think of it, a trident does seem like a weapon that would be water elemental. Right, because, you know, that's what the merfolk tend to use as a trident. Anyways, um, some of the enemies here... You know, those green viney things, just like a lot of the enemies in the trench, absorb water. So be careful with using Mog's regular attacks. This kind of sucks because when we were trying to learn dances, it's not like we could really use another dance. And if we used the water dance in the water, there was a good chance everyone was just going to get healed anyways. Right. And my god, there's a lot of battles. Can I get anywhere without getting into a fight? Ugh. Seriously, now they're poisoning me, too. How rude. I'm 
not close to levels, so don't really need to worry about it yet. Uh, what have we got? Ah, good enough. I don't think we're going to be leveling up anytime soon, so we don't really, really need to worry about the stats. Okay, um... Alright, so, as I said, we've learned all the dances we can along this loop. However, there are still three more that we can get. There's the city one, and, uh... We all know a city that we can go to where we can get into a fight. That would be Zozo. Right, so we just have to fly over there, enter the town, get into a single fight, and we're good to go. The other one is a desert, and there are many deserts scattered around the world map, you know. As in, like, around Figaro Castle. So, land next to the desert, walk onto it, get into a fight, learn the dance. That one will be done as well. The last one is the dance you learn in the snow areas. Now, there is only, as far as I know, one battle in the entire game where you can learn the snow dance. And that's not until much later, actually near the end of the game. And as I said, there is only one battle where you can learn it. So you're going to need to watch out for that. Huh. But yeah, if you started here instead, I think you can actually learn the uh, Water Sonata here in the Leith River as well as throughout the trench. Okay, um, I did also mention I'd explain why I'm using characters such as Cyan and Setzer, right? Now, the reason I have them in my party is because... You remember the Bannon battle where we had to protect him? We had to take all our team members and split them into groups. Yeah, there's more areas in the game that are kind of like that. So... If we leave any characters really underleveled it'll kick us in the ass later so even if you don't like them unfortunately you kinda gotta use them at least occasionally so someone like Cyan right you're still gonna wanna ooh Edgar's close to leveling up okay let's go switch up our uh, I think I want him to go with yeah Bismarck so strength plus two um, yeah, um, Cyan, even though not really good, you still want to try and keep him at least, you know, comparable to other people. Otherwise, things are just gonna suck when you get to any of those parts where you have to use him. There are also a few parts in the game where you have to use certain teammates, right? They're just important to the story. And every character in the game is going to have their own. Their own part where they are pretty much required. They are required to be used. Sorry, I'm kind of zoning out here while I'm talking. Huh. Jeez, okay, one second. Whew. Right, trying to... I don't know why I was, like, concentrating on the battle, but, like, I was looking at things, and then... I guess it was just because I was just looking through my espers. I'm kind of, like, my mind's running through which stats I'm going to be giving characters and things like that. Anyways, so, as I said, all characters, you don't want them, any of them to fall behind. And, uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna pick up some more throwing stuff for Shadow. But, seeing as how this loop is basically just for, I'm not really gonna say gaining levels, per se, but it is for grinding dances, and, uh, 
I figured it would be a good point to use the characters that I'm not really ever going to be using anywhere else, because the enemies are going to be easy enough that I'm not going to get into some super boss battle and be like, shit, I wish I didn't have Cyan right here. I really wish I did not. Plus, it gives me a chance to use them again, and, you know, they say variety is the spice of life, so why not change it up every now and then? Um, yeah, just so you can see, we've kind of gone back through Sabin's scenario. We're here right next to Doma. Unfortunately, I don't... No, there's no Chocobo here. Well, then again, not that it really matters, because we're, like, right next to the Phantom Force. I don't know why I was bothering looking for one. But yeah. Um, heading over Mount Colts and going through the Leith River, we come through basically Sab and Scenario, because if we had gone back up to Narsh like Bannon did on the raft, there'd be no way to get back to our airships. You don't have to worry about that. You can always get back. You take the raft and you can go around. You also don't have to worry about the Phantom Train anymore. We just pass through the forest and we go back to the waterfall. Like we did before, and Upon jumping it, we return to the Velt, where we can pick up our pretty airship and continue on with some plot. Now, I'm sorry that there was no plot progression in this episode. I kind of wanted to do this little trek and pick up the dances, and as you can see, there's only the three more that we got left. I'm gonna go grab the forest, or sorry, the forest, the uh, city one, so I'm gonna go to Zozo in a desert off-screen. As I said, I won't be able to get the snow one until much later. But I figured that I might as well at least show my trek around in the circle, as opposed to just doing it off-screen, because this is a let's play and it is something that I am doing. Um, more so for the sake of just grinding, but I am actually kind of like collecting things because I'm collecting dances. It would be like going through, it would be like showing up at a cave and being like, oh, there's no boss in this cave, so I'm not going to show it. But you'd collect the treasure chests anyways. So, with all of that out of the way, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI.